I spent all morning trying to think of a good joke to put here, and at the end of the day, I just I wasn't able to. So I guess I'll have to stop by the fabric store this afternoon for some new material. Welcome to the Dad Bod. Today's video is about the Stately Man subscription box. But before we get started on today's box, I wanted to give you an overview of the subscription box as well as a recap of the exchange process from the last box. If you only care to see what I got and nothing of the sign up or the exchange process, then feel free to jump to this point, Tempest Eclele. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got the Elder Wand. Uh, it also, if you want to see last month's box, which, or not last month's, but my last box, which was my first box, I'm going to put a link right above me to that one. And that way, as you're watching that one, you, and then you move to this one, you'll be able to better understand what I'm talking about when I say the exchange process or the shirts that I got and how they didn't fit, because you'll be able to see how they didn't fit. So with Stately Men, you have three options. The Sharp Plan, which is $99 each, and includes a personally curated assortment of three or more pieces consisting of tops, bottoms, footwear, and accessories from in-demand brands with a total value of over $200. The Lux Plan, which is $149, and this one includes personally curated outfits of five or more pieces consisting of premium tops, bottoms, footwear, and accessories from leading menswear brands with a value of over $300. And then you have the Regal box, which is $300, and it includes the personally curated outfits with premium footwear and six or more pieces of premium tops, bottoms, accessories from top menswear brands valuing at over $600 total. I didn't say monthly box because you are able to choose whether you get it monthly, every other month, or every three months. I have the Lux plan, which is scheduled right now for every other month. In November, I received my first box with them. I'll consider that box as part of a learning curve. When you sign up, you take a style quiz and you give them your measurements and your preferred sizes. Not everybody gets the same boxes. The boxes are personally created based upon your style quiz. Again, you can check out that link so that way you can see my last uh, box or you can wait until the end and I'll have a link again at the end of this video. For now, I'll just give you a quick recap. I got a pair of Southern Scholar socks that fit nicely two selected on slim fit button down dress shirts. One was blue, one was gray and white. An original penguin slim fit plaid dress shirt, a seven diamonds blue and white plaid dress shirt, and that one was also slim fit. An English lingerie pair of slacks, and then a pair of Ben Sherman shoes. I kept the socks, the pants, and two of the dress shirts. I ended up exchanging two of the dress shirts and the shoes. The slim fit was just too snug on me, as were the shoes. I got two other shirts back in exchange, but since they didn't have my proper size shoes, I got a blazer instead. However, once I washed them, the two original shirts and the two exchanged shirts shrunk to where they were just too small. I can't wear them. And the blazer that they sent me in exchange for the sneakers was not a long size. I'm six foot three. If you're above six foot, you should really be wearing long size blazers. I think that was an oversight because I absolutely put that in my profile. I was able to give the blazer to a friend for Christmas and I donated the four shirts. At the end of the day, really all I was able to keep was the pants and the socks. It was a little bit of a letdown. So I made sure that I updated my style preferences description with very specific details and the same details in both spots, the style details and the additional details. That way there should be no mistake. My style profile says that I tend to dress business casual with classic casual on the weekends. I wear two XL tops. I prefer modern fitting. It's a little bit slimmer than casual fitting, but not slim fit. I wear a 42 inch waist with a 30 inseam pants, also modern fitting. And then my shoe size is 12, but it doesn't allow for half size options. Under additional style preferences, I updated to say that I am six foot two and a half with long arms. I tend to wear a size 18 and a half inch collar with a 38 inch sleeves on my dress shirts. And that 38 wasn't an option that I can pick from the drop down menu. I preferred a tailored fit over a casual fit. Um, that makes the, uh, the shirts fit a little bit closer to the body so it isn't really baggy, but again, it's not slim fitting. I said casual is too baggy and slim fit is too snug, especially when I sit down. I wear a 50 long slim fit blazer with stretch material or a 52 long slim fit without the stretch material. I said I wear extra long ties and for shoes I wear a 12 and a half or a 12 wide. 
during the return process for the last box, they said that they normally don't get wide sizes or half sizes. So I'm gonna guess that I probably won't be getting shoes in this box, but that's all right. I prefer to get something that fits over something that won't. I also mentioned that I need a little bit of extra fabric so that way I can tuck in my shirts <laughs> and keep them tucked in. That was a big problem that I mentioned with my previous Lately Man video. The, uh, the shirts only had about maybe an inch or so that I could tuck in, so if I lifted my arms up like this, it would just come untucked. And then I mentioned that once washed, all four of the shirts that I got no longer fit. So I'm hoping the information was useful when they were curating this box here. So let's get this box open and see what's inside. And while I'm opening it up, you could take this time to hit the subscribe button below. I'm usually putting out about three videos a week, things like grooming, clothing, watches and accessory subscription boxes, online clothing reviews, and even ways to elevate your style without breaking the bank. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out and I'm gonna you know, show you guys and then afterwards I'm gonna try everything on so that way you can see how it fits on me. At the end of the day, if something doesn't fit me immediately, then I'm gonna put that aside and I know that that's gonna to have to be something that I'm gonna exchange and then there's gonna be a few other things that I might have to wait until I wash and see how snug it gets after I wash, if it gets snug. And then those will be something that I'll have to exchange as well. So for the exchanges, I'll leave the information for that on my next Stately Man video. All right, so the first thing we have here is more plaid. This is a Grayers Clothiers 3XL. Uh, yeah, that's that looks like it's gonna be pretty warm for the winter. Um, I'm curious to see how well this fits. And also another thing that I'm going to do is uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of give a breakdown of each of the items that I get, how much they cost based on their website, and then compare it to how much I paid for the box. So that way you can see if I got a pretty good deal or not. So the next thing we have is uh, Seven Dimiums Premium 3XL. Uh, long sleeve shirt. It's a fairly stretchy material. Alright, this is uh... Yeah, I don't know how to say that. I don't actually know what it says. So hopefully that helps. Uh, it says casual luxury uh, 2XL long sleeve shirt, Los Angeles. Well, that's pretty nice. So it's a long sleeve shirt, a little bit stretchy, so should be able to move just fine in this. All right. Next thing we have are some slacks. Uh, selected on. Well, it's easy for that one. It says that these are Normally a hundred and ten dollars. And then lastly, we have uh, seven diamonds again, three uh, XL says Fillmore. And it's a uh, it's another long sleeve shirt with some buttons on the top. All right, let's go try everything on. Uh, the only other thing that we have in here is uh, just some uh, Q and A's for trying to get a better fit, saying to provide more feedback and to uh, update your style preferences if you want to try to change things up a little bit. All right, so I'll be right back and we can try some of these on. All right, so right here I'm wearing the Seven Diamonds uh, black shirt and I'm wearing these slacks. The shirt fits nice, the sleeves come down long enough. 
I have enough room around my collar. It's not too snug. The slacks on the other hand are way too snug. Uh, I noticed when I was looking at the tag that it said 42, but it didn't have any other numbers associated with it. Normally pants come in two sizes. You know, for me, it's a 42, 30. So the pants are gonna have to get exchanged so that way I can get the next size up, but I'm gonna keep wearing them for the rest of this video just because I wanted to show you everything that they got me together. All right, and this one, same slacks, and I got the shirt from the brand that I'm not really sure what it is because I can't really read the cursive writing on the, the label. Uh, so with this, it's a little bit snug on the sleeves, and based upon the amount of room that I have, I'm almost guaranteed to when I wash it, to uh, have it be stuck right up here, give me about two inches where it needs to come back down. So yeah, this shirt is also something that I'm gonna have to exchange for something that fits better. And additionally, it's really snug around my waist. It's, it's you know, it's stretch material, but at the same time, there's not a whole lot of stretch left in it because it's just very, very slim fitting on me. All right, and here I have the Selected Om uh, Plum shirt. Uh, as you can see, the collar is a little bit structured. I'm not really used to that, but at the same time, I think I like it. So this one fits well. I've got some extra room in the sleeves, so that way if the shirt shrinks, I'll still be good. And then we have one shirt left to try on. All right, and then we have the last of the items. So this one's got enough material where I think if I wash it and it shrinks a little bit, it'll still be good. Uh, obviously, I'm not tucking anything in because the slacks are a little bit too tight. But I would, you know, normally tuck something like this in. So it would look a little bit more like this. That's better. And then as you can see, it's not too, uh, it's not too snug on my body. And at the same time, it's not too loose. So yeah, I think they did pretty good with this one again. I'm not really big on plaid. I do wear it sometimes, but not too often. Uh, but yeah, I think this is something that I could keep. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my little fashion show. So the slacks here, they retailed for $110. The ones that I couldn't read the logo for is actually Kinetic Casual Luxury. And the long sleeve shirt is $60. Both of those are going to go back to uh, Stately Men for an exchange. The Grayers flannel shirt is a $110. The black Seven Diamonds shirt was $69. And then the Seven Diamonds Plum shirt was $72. For the three items that I'm keeping, that comes to $251. If you include all of the items, because at the end of the day, they are going to replace the improper sizes with something of similar value, you have $421. Not bad for paying $150 for the box. So my next step is I'm gonna submit the exchange request online to let them know that the pants need more room to breathe and that the shirt is a bit snug and the sleeves are gonna to be too short once I wash it. They're gonna send me something to use to send the items back in. Last time they just gave me a label to put on the, uh, the Stately Man box, but I had shoes last time. This time it's just shirts, so they may just send me a little bag, who knows. It took about two weeks for them to receive it via UPS and then process the exchange and then another week or so for the exchange. All in all, it was about a month after my box that I got the exchanged items. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing every other month with them. So that way I have time to fully take care of each box before the next one arrives. Well, that's all for this video. And right about here is when you should be seeing the links to some of my other videos, including last month's box. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you all next time.